Hey guys, what's up? This is Mario here, bringing you guys another video, and today we're going to be doing another episode of Destiny Talk, so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this, and so here we go. Uh, so today's topic is how will we upgrade legendaries in the House of Wolves. Now in two days time after this video is being released, uh, we're actually going to find out some more details about both the Reef Social Space and uh, how we'll be able to upgrade our legendary weapons in the House of Wolves. Um, and so I wanted to talk about this today, my thoughts on what will happen, or some possibilities that Bungie uh, could use, or, may, or paths that they may have taken uh, to allow us to upgrade legendaries and even exotics maybe. Um, so if you didn't know already, Bungie has said that there will be some way to upgrade legendary weapons in the House of Wolves DLC. Uh, and this is uh, currently, it's it not even confirmed, but it's a rumour because of the picture that they put on their, uh, on the forums. Uh, next to the live stream image, uh, which was a picture of the Fatebringer legendary hand cannon uh, with a 300 attack stat turning into a 365 attack stat. Um, and this is obviously showing that you can upgrade at least raid weapons or vault of glass weapons to be even more um, tight on the subjects um, to the new attack stat anyways. Um, and so that's uh, how we have the kind of idea that we'll be getting legendary upgrades. Uh, and my, in my opinion, anyways, there are a few ways that they could go about uh, doing or implementing this upgrade system. So the first way that I can imagine is that it is if only raid weapons were able to be upgraded. Uh, and this could be done in one of two ways. Uh, the first way is that they could create a level 33 or level 34 version of the Vault of Glass and Crota's End Raids. Uh, and the 365 attack weapons would drop from the new level raid. Uh, which is not a bad idea to be honest and as it gives people another, re another reason to run the raids again. Um, in order to get the upgraded uh, raid weapons which is of course good because in case you don't know there's no raid in the House of Wolves. Uh, and so it's going to give people who enjoy raiding a reason to go back and do all the raiding. Um, and then method 2 actually leads on to my next idea, which is that there could be a new vendor in the Reef Social Space, uh, which is the Vestian Outpost, uh, who would allow us to upgrade our legendary weapons. Um, now, I think this would be a good idea, uh, as it could, as of course it gives us a place that we know where to go to upgrade our legendaries. Now, an idea that I actually had was that this vendor could be similar to how Zhu works. Uh, so he visits the Reef Social Space every week from Friday to Sunday, and would only allow us to, and would have to allow us to upgrade pretty much every legendary weapon, um, unless it, only raid weapons could be upgraded, of course. In which case, then maybe he could have like his exotic collection, like he does now, uh, where he only sells a few of the raid weapons to upgrade each week, and you've got to wait until he sells your weapon to upgrade it. Um, or he could be a permanent vendor, and you can just go straight up to him and pay. Uh, just like you can with, let's say, the Cryptarch or the Bounty Tracker, um, with any of those. Um, but uh, now, let's ask the question, what would it actually cost to upgrade these weapons? Now, uh, we aren't too sure yet about this, as Bungie have not re has not revealed anything uh, about the subject. Um, but I had an idea that might be a possibility, or something similar to it might be a possibility, and so I wanted to talk to you guys about it and see if what you guys thought on the subject. So, as I thought that I had, I thought that from the Prison of Elders, there could be a random drop uh, that would be similar to, it would be about as rare as a, a raid weapon or armor drop, or an arena weapon or armor drop, if you want to be that specific. Um... And it would drop from the Prison of Elders and it would be called, let's just say, a Legendary Shard. That's a complete example, I'm not saying if this is like a thing, that's, that's not actually what it's going to be called. Uh, but let's just say it's going to be called a Legendary Shard. Um, then you can use the Legendary Shard that you obtained, and of course they're quite rare, you're not going to get them all the time. Like they're not just going to be spamming your inventory, you might get one each week or you might not even get any in a week. Um, and so you're going to be able to get these legendary shards, and then you take the legendary shards to the vendor, um, which, I, I, in my opinion, anyways, would cost around the same as it does to upgrade an exotic. Except with a bit less glimmer, considering that exotics are obviously meant to be better than legendary weapons. Uh, so I've said around 4,000 glimmer, or 5,000 glimmer. Definitely not less than 4,000, I would say, because otherwise it gets a bit cheap, since some of the legendary weapons are actually really good. Um, Fatebringer... Uh, I would say corrective measure, etc. Um, 
Uh, of course, the legendary shard, and then you have to have the weapon itself equipped. Uh, and this would, of course, keep all of the weapons upgrades. I think that's what Bungie is trying to do. And I think they realized the mistake that they made with upgrading exotics in the in the Dark Below. Um, because people had to re-level them all. Which I didn't mind too much because I hadn't gotten many. But some people had gotten every exotic and then they had to re-level them all. Which must have been horrible. Um, but that's what happened. And, yeah, so it would, of course, keep all of its upgrades, except that it would go up to the next attack stat, which would be great. And, of course, it would be okay if this was what they were going to do with the upgrading, so uh, with the legendary shards. Um, it would be okay if they still did the upgraded Vault of Glass and Crota's End, uh, simply because it would give people one of two options. They could either go back and do the raid uh, again to get all of the weapons, or they could just simply upgrade them by paying a legendary shard and a bit of glimmer. Uh, which can, of course, easily be farmed back again. Uh, but anyways, guys, I actually want to know what you think on this topic. Um, today, of course, is about two it's two days away until we actually find out how we're going to upgrade our legendaries. And so I want to know what you guys think, how we'll be able to upgrade our legendaries. And also let me know your th thoughts on the new Reef social space and what we'll be getting there. Uh, leave all your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll be happy to read them all. And I'll reply to any ones that are, of course, relevant. Uh, so anyways guys, thank you for watching this video, if you've enjoyed it remember to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming content, remember to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Twitch, links in the description below and I'll see you guys in another video, so until then, ciao.